Hi, I'm Ira Calvin, and this is Patino News. Our sophomores did internship presentations this week. Let's see how their hard work paid off. Our client testimonial and sign work emphasis. So the sign work emphasis is based around the suggestion that Abraham made to us, that they wanted to um, emphasize the fact that they are doing We've been doing work. some industry research into other printing services to see what posts attract and engage customers and could help build your audience. So we made some mock-up posts to give examples of what you could do for your business. And the fact that you, you directly responded to uh, things that were brought up in the meeting with the client. That's, that's huge, and, and you recognize that in the presentation. Hey, this is what you mentioned. Here's our answer for it. Uh, so that was a great job. I did that. And we are very proud of the work that these guys have done. We're two days of pitching prior to tonight, and these are the five finalists. And tonight. It also shows some upcoming flavors, such as a flavor that we suggest from Bofe. And we also have the Latin Heritage and the other headings, such as Banda Dulce. Um, I love the promotional kind of engagement posts, like, you know, do this, take a picture, and you get a gift card. That's like, that's great. I love it. Uh, so this is the home page. After the Totex lights in, the customer is already thoroughly enjoying their experience on, on the Kenneth Stecca website. Below we have two pictures. The first one contains the, Ken the Totex warrior on Totex pyramids, and this is representing the heritage of Kenneth Stecca and the roots. The Our social media is focused on two primary points. The first being that it is as relatable as possible and that it promotes our printing. We chose pictures that were colorful and vibrant to help convey to the customer the very family feel that is impress printing. I like how you guys had everything sectioned out when it came to what they did exactly and specifically explaining what each thing does when it comes to embroidery, graphic printing, or the large printing in general. So I feel like that was a great thing to have in the website. Thank you. Our specials page is very nice. Uh, we feel it relates to our customer because during certain times, uh, you have during certain seasons for stuff. So during March, uh, we put uh, walnut and fig bread, and then we did a March Madness bundle uh, for the basketball tournament for college. Um, and then... Uh, a presentation standpoint, really strong speakers, nice transitions. Uh, thank you. It's Ariana with an A, right? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you for providing a lot of those kind of transitions and context. You give a lot of really great context. I think we're all going to talk about how wonderful that story was up front, right? Like, that was definitive of creating that emotional connection. And even if I was just the client, you did a great job, all of you did a great job of reframing for me, like, Oh right, this is what our brand is. I know the story, right, if I'm Carmelita. Right. Um, but hearing it from another person, I just thought it was delivered so well. So thank you for that, and it reads how you kind of did that throughout, like, I think, the branding. This is our landing page. You may be wondering, what is a landing page, and why is it important? Well, a landing page is much more like an ad that is mostly used on social media. But what makes this important is the fact that it attracts people to your website. Three things that make up a landing page is an offer headline, offer copy, and a call to action. A offer headline is what catches the audience's attention. For example, free paleta. A offer copy talks more and explains the topic they just read. An example of this would be get a free paleta when you make your first purchase on their website. Um, I think the images were amazing. Um, they provided you with great photos to use, and you use them, and you place them uh, where they needed to be. Uh, an Oreo, and a, I mean, the strawberry, all the stuff. Uh, I want some of that stuff, so now I'm going to go. It worked right now, tonight, for me. Uh, okay, so I'm talking tonight. The winner is Best of Show. Now <laughs> <laughs> do it again, Cooksey. <laughs> Desi and Vienna. Don't tell the junior teams because they're still waiting for their prizes. <laughs> 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 Did you know that a new 
April 13th is going to be an elevator pitch competition. <laughs> Our Patina students are going to be competing at Fresno State and you can come help support them. So some of the teams that are going to be competing are Studers, I believe there's a Coltex and Eco and Lydia. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, wait, I have more. Micro Punch and Sotros, the Palace and the Art Hive and O oh, Skincare and Reborn and Wait, there's more! Today we're going to be going around talking to students about their plans for spring break. <laughs> oh, Winfrey and Elizabeth, what are your plans for spring break? Avengers Endgame. <laughs> and we're going to get somebody. Nope. Two very good combinations. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Credo, what are your plans for spring break? To sleep. Yes, to sleep. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta catch up on those Z's. Yes, I do. To sleep and to possibly eat pizza. So, Mr. Vang, what are your plans for spring break? Oh, I have big plans. I think I'm gonna go to Vegas, probably Disney World, and hopefully I can afford to go to Thailand back. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, don't gamble too much. I'm not into gambling, but I'm into fun. So, Alyssa, what are your plans for spring break? Uh, over spring break, I plan to spend a lot of time with my family down south in the Bay Area and spend a lot of time on the beaches and stuff. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I've heard of different beaches. <laughs> so what are you doing this spring break? All right, so let me tell you, it's been a cool week since my injury. So this spring break, I'm probably going to be working out with my, my buddies of mine at track and probably get back into shape for the, this, this track season. And also probably go work with my dad and celebrate Easter probably, have some eggs, you know, probably not find them myself, but make my my brothers find them, so that's probably it. That's cool, how many miles do you plan on running? So the average miles we run is around like 10 to 20, but I think 15 for me would be the average. That's good, I hope you have a good um, spring break. Thanks. That's all for this week. Just a reminder, we come back April 23rd, Tuesday. Like, share, and subscribe, and press the bell button down below to get notified. Have a great spring break.